Alright guys, we're back for yet another Bleach Brave Souls video, and today we are going to be comparing Ichigo and Kilge. Not this Ichigo. This brand new True Shikai Ichigo that we got for the end of year of 2023, and we're going to compare it to the God of Heart, Kilge. These two are by far the most broken heart characters that we have in the game, and in my opinion are tied between number one and number two, despite the obvious differences. But before we pretty much settle the score, we have to look at the stats, skills, and see how well they perform. Starting off with Ichigo, he is a Soul Reaper unit with the Soul Reaper and Stern Raider Killer. So already that's two rotations of Guild Quest where you can actually use this guy in, and he's definitely gonna be, you know, having a lot of value for Limit Breaker Quest as a whole. Let's say the enemy should be Soul Reaper and, um, spoiler warning, uh, Quincy's. Well, you guys will see in a bit, but anywho, the Soul Trait, he does have strong attack damage of 20% and strong attack reach time of minus 12%. So for cooldown reductions, it's quite good. The impressive thing is having 20% strong attack damage, which pretty much you can also, for whatever reason, use this character as a link for Kelge or anyone else, and he'll work effectively. But let's just say you just don't use him. You just don't like him yet. You can get away with doing that. And then uh, in terms of the attacks, he has weakening and laceration on his entire kit, which is good, it's broken. And then he has sprinter plus two, long stride, and poise. He's already a very speedy boy and cannot get staggered. Only 20% strong attack damage, it's mainly through the soul trait as a whole, so uh, yeah. He is immune to every status element, has havoc of 20%, frenzy plus two, bombardment, double terror of plus five seconds, and uh, here's the kicker. Increased status element chance against Soul Reapers and Quincy's. Meaning that this guy, he will basically have a guaranteed status element proc against Soul Reapers and Quincy's. And the funny thing is, he doesn't even have killer against Quincy's. He just has him mainly for Stern Rear. And yet, it works out so nicely for Guild Quest that you can actually get away with it. You'll always be able to get the 80% SP boost active at all time. Oh yes, yeah, spoiler alert, he has the 80% SP boost. But going back in topic with the character, once you inflict stab summons, you do 60% more damage to lacerated enemies, plus 40% damage to weakened enemies. Basically, 100% damage. It's such a broken combo. And because you also have weakening applied, weakening is so strong that you're going to be able to debuff the enemy's defenses, allowing Ichigo to do way more damage than you would normally expect him to do so. Marauder, so he has no fire melee resistance and guard break, can hit hidden enemies, and 80% um, SP boost broken skill set a really broken skill set and then if we want to go ahead and talk about the kit he has a 3k length beam with 1020 width mags are different it's 60 into 60 and then he has a 960 to 1020 lunge which is still pretty good and his sa3 is brand new a two charged stage attack where once you activate it you have the initial 1170 in front hold it down for the full charge you get a 1200 radius and the mags are just stupidly broken. The first hit is 600% by just tapping through the button. But you hold it down a bit and release it, it'll still keep the 1170, but it's gonna have a magnification of 80%. But once you pretty much fully utilize the strong attack, it's 200%. Such a broken SA3, by far easily the best third strong attack that we have in the game. No other character comes close to what true Shikai Ichigo has as a whole. And the crazy thing about this Ichigo right here, it's basically like as if he has the Rampage built up at 100% at all times. That being said, it is situational because you need to have Soul Reapers and Quincy's on the map to even get away with being able to do all those extra multipliers. Without killers though, uh, you can find yourself struggling a bit to the point that you're going to want to use uh, better hard characters and to some extent uh, even the uh, Concord Ichigo for doing more consistent damage. But that's just about it. Other than that, this character is absolutely cracked easily. Numero uno contender for heart. And up next we have Kilge. Kilge is OP. I'm always gonna say that, even though his name is uh, Kilge OP, but it's basically a meme at this point. Anywho, going back on the stuff, he is a Quincy slash Stern Raider unit with the Ronker Killer. Now, there is a lot less value for this character. He only has one killer, so you can only use him for one GQ rotation. Strong attack reaches time of minus 14%, and already we have ourselves a bit of a W because he has faster cooldown reduction compared to Ichigo, where he had 12%. That being said, no extra secondary soul trait, unlike Ichigo. 
Uh, Drain on his entire kit, a bit weaker than Ichigo for when it comes to status elements, but that's all gonna kick in soon. Sprint plus one, a bit slower. Guard break, freeze resistance, 100%, so no complete status immunity. But look at this, already we're seeing something different. Heart attribute strong attack recharge of 20%. This skill is broken because it means that when you go through the maps, you get your cooldown reductions back. And he's a king for limit break plus. You use him in slot three, by the time it's his turn again, you'll be able to have all of your strong attacks back at your disposal. SA1, SA2, and SA3. And let's say you have other hard characters for limit break requests, <clears throat> such as what we had this month with Yuha and Ichigo. Put Kyoge in slot 3, have Ichigo in slot 2, and he'll gain the same effect as Kyoge, which is stupid. It's ridiculous. That being said, Devastation of 40%, a bit of a weaker Soul Bomb, but like it's to be expected. Uh, full stamina damage boost of 20%, so uh, at least he still keeps that damage multiplier. Rampage, kill 50 enemies, you get 100% damage to all of your attacks. Normal attacks, strong attacks, and the soul bomb. Havoc of 20%, frenzy plus 2, debilitator of plus 2 seconds, damage to drain enemies of 40%, poise, and 80% SP boost. Now, he is a much slower character than Ichigo, however, off killer, this guy will be able to do better than Ichigo as a whole because it isn't situational for him at all. He doesn't have increased status element chance unlike Ichigo, and he doesn't have long stride, but like once you give this guy long stride, he's just still gonna be able to output a crap ton of damage. And his kit is basically the reason why he did not pick up increased status element chance because he got the god kit. He has the 3k length beam with 1020 width, a 960 into homing vortex, and then the SA3 being a regular full screen. So basically the same kit as 6th anniversary Aizen and his kit carried him for years, man. I tell you, years. And Kilge is gonna follow the same legacy as this Aizen. He's just gonna remain as a top three heart character for a long time, possibly top five even, but like, he's just ridiculously strong despite being slow. And even though his status element combo is a lot weaker compared to Ichigo, he is still gonna be able to get away with it because of the Rampage skill that he has. So uh, yeah, there's still a lot to pretty much go through. Now for the comparison, thankfully I have both Ichigo and Koge at 2-5, so we can get a very similar performance from the two characters. That being said, the links are going to be the same, hybrid SIR, SID, or hybrid SIR, full stamina damage boost links, and the accessories however are going to be on the different side because they're two different affiliations. Ichigo will get the badge, pill, and T set, while Kilge will get the Quincy Cross, pill, and K fastener. And as for the bonus abilities, Ichigo has full stamina damage boost and SP. But as for Kilge, now, keep in mind, he doesn't have long stride. So, for this comparison, I have done two separate runs in both IZ and IT, where one run consists of having full stamina damage boost and long stride, and the other full stamina damage boost and SP. So that way, you guys can get a proper and fair comparison between the two. So with that being said and done, let us begin.
those were the runs, and as you guys saw, in Inheritance Zone, Ichigo and Kilge were completely on par, especially when given Longstride on Kilge, they both cleared for 24 seconds. Without it, Ichigo just flat out wins the competition. The real kicker was sadly Inheritance Trials. With Ichigo lacking killer, he did not have access to his increased status omen chance, immensely slowing him down to the point that Kilge, with or without Longstride, outpaces him. And that's sadly where we can already see Ichigo's biggest flaw. He is a very situational character despite having insane damage output. But anyways, let's go ahead and mark down the pros and cons. For Ichigo, Marauder plus Zeta build. Now, while the value of having Marauder has plummeted significantly because of guild quests, I still find it to be quite useful for extra content. Like in Extreme Co-op and Sinkaimon, you can pretty much do fast runs with him, get it over and done with, clean out the shop, and get a crap ton of scrolls for transcending, and also you don't even need to give him a Zeta Pulse, so you can just go with flat badge pill T-Set at all times, but that's just me. Him being immune to every status element is such a huge deal breaker, you don't have to worry about getting screwed over by status element puddles in IT or limit breaker quests, and can just be as efficient as you want to. Killer active equals GG's, just means that he becomes the best unit in the game. Capable of out damaging Kilge, Yachiru Unahana, Yuha Boha, everyone else, no discussion. And double killers, and double killers, you can use them on both Melee Soul Reaper and Melee Quincy Sternritter, so there's value in wanting more copies of them. For Melee Soul Reaper, it's debatable because you have Yachiru Unahana who is buffed insanely by Akon and Shinji, but it's only a matter of time until we get a character like that which can help buff Ichigo and do the same stuff as Unahana. As for Melee Quincy Sternritter, He's the best there is, clears faster than both Yamamoto and Ichibei combined, and you can even make him work as a main and with them as side units. Anywho, his cons is that he needs killer. Without killer, he won't be a bad character, you can still get the 80% SP buff and do a lot of damage, but you're just gonna be missing out on the huge chunk of damage that he can do. He's a very situational character. And unlike Kilge who can drain, he has no stamina recovery, no drain, no nothing. Once you lose health, unless you're playing IT and Limit Breaker quests and have a character that can provide stamina recovery to the entire party, it's bye bye full stamina damage boost. Bit of a hit or a miss con, so you might as well learn to dodge while you're at. Kilge, the unconditional damage is great. He doesn't need killer, even when faced in an IT where enemies have drain resistance. Excuse my French, but he doesn't give a fuck! He will proc the 80% SP boost, build up his Rampage, and do the same similar damage that Ichigo can do when he has Killer activated. The extra cooldowns are just too broken, makes it very easy to get it back in Gale Quest with the 14% recharge soul trait plus the 20% recharge skill when moving in between maps. He's a king for Limit Breaker Quest for a good reason, and it's that skill alone plus Rampage. Kilge is just OP and I'm never gonna stop saying it can heal, has drain, the only time you won't be able to heal is if enemies are immune to drain, but you can easily keep your full stamina and be fine, safe at all times. His cons? Well, he does have a bit, he just doesn't have Marauder, it's a bit of a hit or a miss because, again, just disgusted. But if you want to use him in extreme co-op, you have to give him the nerd headband to bypass the resistances and keep in mind it's only 30% rather than 100%. Freeze immunity only. It's something? But I prefer having immunity to everything. For GQ, it's fine because he does have the resistance to that specific puddle because it's freeze. But for Limit Break Request, when you have anything that isn't freeze, you have to be careful when playing as him. A couple of days ago, I was trying to achieve 40 stages beaten in Limit Break Request, and the amount of times I kept on getting fucked by RNG, getting paralyzed while moving fast or dodging really made me lose my mentality. Only one killer. Again, he still works, it's just that he's only gonna be used in melee or ronker and that's it, whereas Ichigo can be used in two rotations, so there's less value for kill day. And uh, you wanna move fast? You want to make him be the true king that he is? You have to sacrifice the SP bonus ability and go for long strike, he doesn't have that built into him. In conclusion, it's pretty much a tie at this point, you can argue for any one of these characters to be number one and still be right. The crazy thing is that Kilge supports Ichigo, so he's still gonna remain as a unit that can coexist with him. But when Ichigo has either Quincy's or Soul Reapers on the map, he's easily the best that we have for the heart attribute and in the game. Kilge on the other hand, will be for when Ichigo will not have killer active, taking his place. And if we're talking about content like Extreme Co-op 
or something common stages where enemies have resistances, you can use Ichigo on there, as that's now pretty much easy content where you don't even need to have Killer active for the most part. And that's the end of the video. Expect the same comparison between Yuha and White in the coming days. Now, if you guys have enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button, share this video with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, and hit the bell notification so that way you guys are up to date with my most recent videos. This has been your bud, the Dash Smasher, and I'm officially signing out, so have a wonderful day, lads. Peace out. Bye. Sign out. Ciao, ciao.